Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I've decided to custom paint some hats. Here are some hats that I recently got from Kmart. They were fairly inexpensive actually, probably about three or four dollars each. And they're just your basic sort of caps. But today I'm going to be painting on them and customizing them and just seeing what I can do. This is gonna be pretty fun, so let's dive straight into it. So the first hat I'm actually doing today is this sort of grey trucker's cap and to start off I'm just sketching in some lines using one of my inking pens. This pen was actually quite useful for sketching on the fabric, it didn't bleed too much and it had some nice clean lines that were useful for me. And yeah I'm just sketching some rough lines down which I'm going to paint over later. So today I'm painting the Pokemon Dialga and Palkia. I love these guys, they are super awesome and I thought it would look really cool to have them on a cap. After I got the sketches down, I went straight in with my Posca pens and started painting in some colours. Now I didn't have the perfect colours in mind for this, uh, the blue is slightly different and I sort of had to mix some colours for other colours, but overall it did work out pretty well. I have to say though, the fabric was very, very absorbent, which sounds good in theory, but actually the paint took a very, very long time to dry, and if I had two different colours close to each other, it would sort of bleed in together, as you can see with the light blue parts on Dialga. Also, I didn't have the perfect colours for Palkia, so I had to sort of layer some pinks, beiges, silvers, and later whites over the top until I got a colour that was good enough. But overall, I think it turned out pretty cool and it was really fun to do. After I did that, I kind of went back in around the outline because I feel like it, it was still a little bit not clear. I wanted to sort of make it a little bit more crisp and a little bit more poppy. <laughs> So I put in a black outline around the characters and I sort of used that a little bit too because I kind of made Palkia a little bit too thick. So I used that black outline to bring in his chest a little bit and that helped. And after this I also went in with a little bit of white as well just to sort of make it a little bit more contrasty. After this I went into the visor part of the cap because I really wanted to paint a bit of a galaxy pattern on there, I just think it would be really cool, it would fit the theme really well, and you know me, I just love galaxies so much I can't help myself but to draw them. After this I added a little bit of white on the cap with some acrylic paints just so that I could add some stars in there that were nice and crisp. And overall, I really, really love the results. I think it turned out pretty good. And here's my handsome boyfriend Jesse modeling the caps and I think it looks pretty good. So for this next cap, I decided I wanted to do more Pokemon. Yeah, I know, it's a lot of Pokemon, but you know me. And today I've decided to do some ghost type Pokemon on this cap. When I seen the sort of gray toned cap with all the different sort of shades on it, I thought that would look really cool with some like purple ghost type Pokemon all over it. And uh, yeah, I couldn't help myself. I decided I had to do it. So for this cap, I decided I really, really wanted the colours to look nice and sharp and crisp. And that's why I decided to put a layer of white acrylic paint over before I use the Posca pens. This has a few advantages. One, there's a nice white background so that's go they're going to end up really bright and colourful. And two, the surface is not going to be absorbent because acrylic paint is waterproof and that means that the colours are going to stay where I put them and they're going to be really bright. And I have to say that worked pretty well. 
uh, when I first put in the Gengar and I colored in all of that purple, it just looks so vivid and bright and awesome. And I was just so excited to get into doing the rest of them. So I drew a lot of Pokemon. I did Gengar, Ghastly, Litwick, Phantom, Pumpkaboo, Rotom, Sinistee, Shuppet, and Mimikyu. And that's just a lot of Pokemon all over this cap. And uh, it's a bit of a sort of an all over pattern, I guess. I really like that merch when you get like a bag or something and it's just covered in an all over print of Pokemon. This is sort of that type of thing that I was trying to aim for. And I have to say, I worked very hard. This cap probably took the longest out of all three that I did today. And I just, I'm so happy with the results, especially when I put in that line art. It just made it look so crisp and nice. And yeah, I love it. For some areas, I had to actually use acrylic paints because I didn't have the perfect colors for that. But it turned out really well because the acrylic paints that I use sort of have a bit of a matte texture and they work really well with the Posca pens. You can barely tell what's acrylic paint and what's Posca pen. So I think that was a pretty good choice on my end. But yeah, I have to say out of all of the Pokemon I drew on this cap, Gengar had to be my favorite because he just looks so cool front and center the king of the ghost type pokemon i love him so much and i had to put him on the front because he's the original and i really love the way i had mimikyu waving with its little ghosty hand coming out of the bottom i just think it's creepy and also cute and i love it so i have to say this cap has to be my favorite of the three i just think it turned out really nice and awesome and yeah i'm i'm thrilled with it So for this last cap now, uh, I did a lot of Pokemon and I kind of wanted to do something for the non-Pokemon lovers. I didn't want to just do everything Pokemon in this video because not everyone's into that. And I kind of felt like I wanted to make a hat that anyone could enjoy as well. So, this, so since this had some nice colors, there was this bright white uh, front of the cap and then it had a nice warm red and a really dark sort of Prussian-y blue back to the cap I decided I wanted to do a bit of a, a bit of a sunset silhouette sort of scene I felt like that was really nice and I really love that sort of aesthetic and I can't help but putting a gradient in there I just love doing gradients it's super fun and super easy with acrylic paint too so with the last cap I'm also doing a layer of acrylic paint over the front too because I really like the way that the acrylic paint sealed the fabric. Now I'm not using fabric paint for these mainly because I'm just doing this for one video and I felt like it was a bit silly just buying fabric paint for one project but the acrylic paint worked really well for it anyways. This acrylic paint that I'm using is actually quite flexible and uh, yeah I found it really good for the fabric. So I put in some yellows and some reds and peachy tones and towards the bottom I put in some magenta and a little bit of purple as well and I really love mixing up my gradients for sunsets. I find it really interesting mixing different colors in there and seeing what sort of aesthetic you can get. And after all of that was done and that layer was dry which took a very long time by the way I went in with not black but some Prussian blue paint. I actually have a little tube of Matisse structure uh, acrylic paint and this stuff is really really thick and really really uh, pigmented and I felt like that was perfect for adding some crisp little lines and uh, a nice little silhouette over the top of the background. So I went in with some lines and I ended up painting in some uh, palm trees and I just wanted to do some palm trees because they're really simple to do and they're super fun and they look really awesome too. I just did some sort of curvy lines with some more lines coming off the top of those lines 
And then what I would do is I would sort of spread the paint out to make some little palm tree leaves. These are really satisfying to make and they turned out really cool. And yeah, it was a nice sort of simple but effective artwork for this cool hat. And I really like the way the colors work really well. The warm sunset colors work nice with that red on the visor and the Prussian blue paint pretty much matches perfectly to the dark blue back of the cap. I think this cap is one of my favorites as well. It turned out really cool. So here's the final results for this video. And to be honest, I love these hats so much. They turned out really cool and vibrant and just fun. And I have to say, they look pretty great on my boyfriend as well. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash like and subscribe to get your scribble fix in the future. Tell me which one of these hats is your favorite. If I had to order them, I would probably put the uh, ghost type Pokemon in front, the silhouette sunset one second, and the uh, Dialga and Palkia one third, mainly because that one was the first one I made. And I feel like the others, I sort of improved a little bit when I did those. So that's all from me. I hope you all have a lovely day. Please stay safe and uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.